Greetings, friends, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Australopithecus and the Horgan. A lot has happened since our last, uh, our last entry, and so, uh, this is kind of going to serve as a, a bit of a catch-up, as well as a, uh, thoughts going forward. Uh, so here today, we actually have, uh, Indernacht, which is a sort of, uh, Standalone piece of uh, Robert Schumann. It's pretty cool. I recommend checking it out. Uh, I did my best. <laughs> it's a bit more uh, complex, maybe, with fingering and, and all sorts of crazy stuff going on there, but uh, I don't know. I was happy to give it a try, and I think it came out alright. Can never, can never get too mad uh, or frustrated playing on this thing, you know. Always makes my spirits rise. Yeah, let's get into it anyway. Uh, so, for these last uh, couple of weeks in between entries, uh, I've kind of <laughs> shot all the way from Cincinnati to uh, New Mexico. It's a little town in northern New Mexico called Tierra Amarilla. And, uh, I don't know. I really like this town. There's a lot of special things going on here. And I'm just staying with uh, some good friends from home, you know, from New York, who've moved out here. And that's been really wonderful, too, to kind of get that sort of reconnect going on. Yeah, but <laughs> starting off uh, from Cincinnati anyway, I headed uh, straight off to to uh, well, Indianapolis actually, where, where I met another good friend of mine. So I've kind of been able to see a couple of people as I go across the country, which has been nice. But uh, yeah, I guess picking up right where we left off, it would have been in Cincinnati, because that's that, that's what happened. Uh, I filmed right before the the big uh, the big meeting I had with uh, my my uh, new new discovered friend uh, the saxophone player. So yeah, I, I think that would be a good place to start anyway. Thinking about that, it's a while ago now. I guess it's almost a month ago. Uh, yeah, I remember it pretty well. how this organ music is fitting in with my voice now. I think it's doing okay. <laughs> We're working on it. I'm learning, I, I, I think. I might have been a little too organ happy this, this trip, but uh, next one I'll, I'll tone it down a little bit. So, live and learn, or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so I was in Cincinnati, and I went all around and kind of found uh, my bearings, you know, looked for or a place to play, uh, and I ended up in this kind of really cool area in Cincinnati. I, I, I don't really know what it's called, actually, but it's this, this great big kind of courtyard, and uh, yeah, there's all kinds of shops, and people are out and doing things. It was sweet, uh, and uh, I was walking around just kind of trying to figure out where I was going to go. Uh, I ended up hearing, you know, some music out, out of my... Like, you know, just, like, kind of faint, but I, I, I kind of followed it, and I found this guy who was just really going in. I don't know, if, if you haven't seen the video, please check it out, because he an extraordinary musician, this guy is, and, uh, really just giving, uh, his all on the saxophone, and, and people liked that. People really did respond to it well, and so I think that's another thing to think about is how to engage uh, with the audience, because this guy certainly knew his stuff. Uh, so, no, I, I, I asked him how, how he would feel about, uh, you know, working together for a little while, and he, and he definitely seemed into the idea, so I brought all my equipment over and, and we kind of got going. Uh, I don't know, it, <laughs> if you've seen the video, you know that things didn't quite go the way that I had hoped, maybe? Even though, I, you know, you try to go into these things without really expectations. 
uh, it all just kind of started to fall apart really quickly. Uh, and that was pretty shocking. Because, uh, I kind of thought it was going to be kind of, not easy, but just, you know, all of a sudden I felt like I was in the hot seat and I was really messing everything up, which was, which was weird. Because, uh, I don't know, I usually just go into these things without sort of putting myself through like a, like a real high bar or anything. I don't, I don't set many, uh, standards for myself. I just kind of like to go out and do what I can. But, uh, that wasn't really the, the, the vibe that I was getting out there. There, there was a, a lot more structure, maybe, that, that would have been useful for me to have, uh, you know, had in my arsenal. Because, you know, all, all of a sudden, it, it kind of became pretty clear that I, I didn't really, we didn't, I, I, I couldn't, you know, we couldn't share the same songs and stuff. <laughs> I didn't know the songs that, that he wanted me to play. I don't really know too many songs at all. I just kind of play how I feel mostly. Uh, I like to learn them, but and I can't really remember them so well. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I felt bad about that. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't like hold anything against him at all. Honestly, like, I, w I wish maybe that. <laughs> I wish. I wish that maybe we had. Uh, gotten the chance to kind of, uh, you know, if, if he had just been able to, uh, you know, take the lead, I think I could have followed behind him okay, but I don't know, I think he was more interested in seeing what I could do, which is fine, he didn't really want to waste his time if he, if he didn't think he was going to get anything back from me. So, I don't know, it was just a crazy experience, I, I, I'm glad to have had it, and I'm really glad I met uh, the guy who, I never learned his name. Which is kind of crazy. Uh, I I usually always am like so about that. Like I gotta learn every, people's names, but somehow it just kind of slipped by, and uh, now I feel like I'm the frogs. Where the kind of missed trees grow. Missed that shot to uh, at least put a put a, a name to the, to the face to the man. I don't think these videos are nothing, not much is gonna come of them, but it still feels bad not to give someone the you know, credit that they uh, deserve. So, I guess we move on. I don't know, I had a great time. Uh, yeah, so, you learn a lot, I guess, uh, going around and talking to people that, that might know a thing or two more than you do. Uh, and I think I think that's true of strangers, uh, and I think that's also true of the people in our in our own lives, right? Like the people we know. Because uh, you know, I've been in New Mexico for just about a week now, and uh, you know, you realize that uh, I don't know. There's a lot that you can learn from even people that that you are in constant communication with. Like, I don't know. I don't know that there is a, a ceiling to, to, to what you can get out of another person. I think we can all kind of like, until, <laughs> until we're like, uh, you know, speaking like totally uh, synchronized or something, we're all going to have our own different kind of point of view and perspective. And, I don't know, it never gets old sometimes, I think. Uh, just having even the same conversation again. Because you just peel off another layer of that onion, get a little deeper. Uh, so it's nice being out here. Uh, I like what I've been up to, for the most part. Uh, and I feel good about it. It's like. Some days are, 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 are really great, and then sometimes, I don't know, I kind of look back at certain things and, and don't feel as great about them. Like, I mean, I guess that Cincinnati trip is kind of like a bittersweet one, because it was just an amazing experience, but in some ways it did leave me a little down in the dumps, so it, it's, 
It's tricky. It's tricky to know uh, how you feel about something sometimes. But, I don't know, that's what we do, right? We just keep moving forward and chopping things up to a learning curve or getting better. I don't know, though. I don't, I don't feel like uh, sometimes that I make uh, as much progress as, like, I, I really, uh, you know, might, 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 uh, like, put forth. Like, sometimes I do feel like I'm just kind of going in a circle, uh, and, uh, figure, figuring out a way, you know, a path out of the circle, a tangent line. It's tricky. I once knew me a town for the south. I don't know, I don't know why I've been before. It's been a long day, I guess. Uh, hard to believe. But I believe in. Hard to believe. But I believe in what's going on here. I think there is an experience so out here. I don't know what, I, what I'm realizing more and more. It's like it's like how we're all connected, and uh, you know, no matter where we go or what we do, we have like this deep impact on each other. So I just want to stay like healthy and and in it and in the moment, because uh, I think there's more to kind of. You know, uncover about my own like role <laughs> on this earth, but I don't know. I, I make a video about myself and then I talk about myself and I feel like it's all about myself, but it couldn't be further from the truth. I'm like doing the opposite of how I feel. I, I, I feel like I just want to give back or something because I've been so lucky. Uh, but it's hard to know how to do that even because. Even something like this, it's like, it can look very selfish, it can look very, uh, like, hey, look at me, or something. Uh, and that's not what I'm trying to do. I mean, I, I really am doing this more as a way to, to connect with other people, because I feel like, you know, it's like getting out of my shell or something. Honestly, having another another winter in New York, I love New York, but another winter indoors in New York would have been so hard on me. And I just want to be able to go outside and see things, <laughs> see people, learn new stuff, play more music. I have I've been I've been even so busy recently. This is the first time I've really gotten to play the organ in, in, in a very long time. Play music in a very long time, and I miss it. Um, and, yeah, it's like, I can feel it when, 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 I, when it's slipping away, um, cause it's good to take breaks, but then sometimes breaks sort of become, like, sabbaticals, <laughs> or hiatuses, and, uh, you just feel like the rust back on you. Good to shake off, though. So, I don't know. This has been a weird entry for me. Uh, I'm gonna. It'll. It'll make it though. It'll make it. It's fine for what it was. Uh, and I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna do a better show for next week. I just wanted to make one tonight and and feel how that went. And I'm not discouraged. be the dark episode, we'll call it this one. This one is, uh... Well, obviously, I'm playing Internacht. How could I even think that it wouldn't be? I, I literally picked the most, like, sinister song for this. That's so funny. I didn't think about how, how foreshadowing that would be. Gosh. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna tell another story. I might as well. I did last time. So, this story will be...
speed. Uh, let's see. I don't know, I want to tell the story of St. Louis. But, yeah, yeah, because this is a sad episode. I'll tell the story of St. Louis. St. Louis, St. Louis was hard for me to manage. Uh, I, I, I dropped off my trailer, and I started off uh, for the, the big city, you know. I was waiting to see that big arch, like, that, uh, that I'd always heard about. I was so excited to get to St. Louis. I really was. And I remember, I remember very well seeing that arch, you know, out in the... All of a sudden, like, it just kept getting bigger and bigger. And it was a huge arch. Like, part of me was feeling like, who knows, I might be a little disappointed by this arch. This arch might not be all that it cracked up to be. And then I saw the thing, and it's huge, and it's fat. <laughs> it's a really fat arch. Uh, so I got really excited driving into the city. I don't know. Uh, but then I got into the city, and it just seemed kind of sad or something. Like, <laughs> I know, it's like St. Louis, they got the blues, but they really did, man. It was, it was rough. Uh, I couldn't find any place that seemed like a central location where, if some of these videos have seemed like there hasn't been much around, if I had made a St. Louis video, it would be like double or triple that. I would have just been alone. Uh, and it was a nice night too. I was so surprised and I, I really, I tried to go everywhere. I drove around for about, you know, an hour or an hour and a half. And I ran a red light. <laughs> that was a mistake. I get, I'm just looking around so much. And St. Louis has all these tight corners with these stoplights that are off on the side. I'm making excuses, but it really was tough. Uh, and they really deck out all of their corners with police cameras. So I don't know. I'll probably have a ticket incoming, which is kind of just another like uh, the cherry on top, the reverse of that <laughs> to my trip to St. Louis. So yeah, that's not much of a story, Matt. <laughs> uh, but I drove around for a long time and I saw some things, tried to, to make uh, the most of it. It's hard to make the most of a place. Uh, the more like, the longer you're there and the longer it feels like you know, just nothing is working out. Tried to find places to park, but they were kind of far away from where I was gonna be. And then when I got back there, I realized I didn't even want to be there. Um, that arch is cool. <laughs> I mean, to me, St. Louis seems like more of an arch than a, than a city. <laughs> that was really mean. It's a city, but I just couldn't find it. I couldn't find St. Louis. So I, I, I broke down, I got these bad ribs, I went to like this sugar house or something, sugar ribs, I can't remember, because I was, I was like, well, if I'm here, I better get these ribs, which is kind of a, a point that sometimes you think like how you're feeling and it's like, I've already lost so much in coming here and it's like, by God, I'm gonna go get some ribs. I don't care, I'm gonna do the, the thing because, you know, this town can't break me. <laughs> then I went and I got those ribs. Gosh, they were, they, those were the worst expensive ribs. They just kind of like crumbled and like turned to sand. Man, I don't know. I don't wanna be so disrespectful, but I just had a really bad time and I don't know, I was really surprised that I did because I really wanted to see St. Louis. So, hmm, the point, the moral, the thing of it is to, I guess, just kind of like walk through, just kind of keep your, hang on to yourself, <laughs> keep, keep your, keep your, uh, Yeah, because at the end of that, I don't know, I just, I tried to move past it, and I and I, I guess I did. I thought about it again today. That's why I'm talking about it. That's so funny. It probably took me about 
three weeks, something like that, to put it behind me, a little less. But to really move past something that hurt, because I was let down. And it's a dumb thing to be let down by, and that makes you even more let down, but... I don't know. I, I... I think I can keep my head about it, you know? And I, I would go in again, I would, with like a fresh... fresh mentality. Uh, I've seen a lot of cool things, I've seen a lot of great places, but I didn't see anything in St. Louis and I don't know if I feel like I missed out. Maybe I did. Missing out's okay, too. This has gone on too long. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Love to everybody out there. Uh, this has been a weird couple of minutes, <laughs> but I just needed to say some things and feel that out. So I'll play us down now, or play us up. Let's play us up. We can do this. We can be played up in E minor, the saddest key. We're going to turn it around. That didn't work out. But thanks for watching Australopithecus and the organ. And next time, I'm going to be even better. <laughs> All right. <laughs>